Hi everyone, Ron Hauptman, EdTech Consultant from Kent ISD, REM C8 in Grand Rapids, Michigan. So recently I've been getting a ton of questions from teachers about um, how to get video that they've recorded out of their iPad into some other place where they can easily share it with their students. So those of you that know the, the pain of the iPad sometimes is getting videos out of here is a difficult process, especially if you are not within the whole Apple ecosystem, meaning that you've got maybe a Mac and you're able to share the video from here doing the airdrop. Um, so most of our teachers are just like, how do I get it out of here? I can't email it because the files are too big. So we have a pretty easy process here for you using the Google Drive application, Google Drive app, and your school Google account. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps of how to take any video or pictures for that matter, anything that's in your photo gallery out of your iPad upload them into your Google Drive, and then from there you can easily share that link of the resulting file, could be a video, could be a picture, to your students through Google Classroom, just email your parents, however you choose to do that. So we're gonna go walk through the steps. Yeah, the first thing to do is visit the App Store on your iPad and go install the Google Drive app if it's not already installed. Once you've installed the app, launch it and touch the sign in button. If you already have your existing school account on your iPad, you can just choose the existing Google account. If not, touch Add Another Account. If you're adding another account, you might see this pop-up that asks for your permission. Go ahead and click the Continue button. As you continue this process, you're going to sign into your G Suite for Education, also known as your school Google account. Put your username and password on the next page. Well, you've almost made it. Now just navigate back to the Google Drive app, and now you can select the folder where you'd like to start uploading your videos. I like to create a new folder in my Google Drive called Videos because then I can just find where all my videos are. Neat, huh? All right, look down in the bottom right-hand corner of the interface, you'll see a little plus sign. Touch that and then touch Upload. As soon as you touch Upload, you'll see the Photos and Videos link at the bottom of your iPad or iOS screen. Touch that. So if this is the first time you're doing it, it'll ask you for some permissions. In future times, you won't need to do this, but just touch OK. Now just find the folder where your video that you recorded lives. Most of the time it's under Videos. This is where your patience will come into play. It's now processing your upload. See the little black box at the bottom? We're finally uploading. That little circle in the bottom left-hand corner of your video is just showing how long it might take. Right, you'll see the little black box now. It shows that your uploads have completed. Again, remember that this might take a little while. Okay, so we've done the upload from my iPad into my Google Drive using the Google Drive app. And now I'm in my Chrome browser looking at where the files have ended up. A couple ways you can figure this out. One is if on your iPad you actually selected the folder in which you've created, like mine is video as an example, and that's where you're sending your files. You can easily find them in there. If you didn't remember where you put your files, one of the easiest tools and tricks is just to use the recent button over here on the left in your Google Drive and it'll show you what has ended up in your Google Drive. Remember, this might take a little while to stream or upload from your iPad through your wireless connection at your house or wherever you might be, and then get into your Google Drive. Uh, many times the upload speed out of our connections is way slower than download speed into our connections, so just know that. Another real big positive here is that instead of forcing your users to download a copy of your video, the way that Google Drive works is it actually streams it and it does it, um, and it, it pays a little of attention to the end user's bandwidth also. So you can easily now link to any of the videos that you might have inside your Google Drive. So the way that we do this, the last part is if I have a video like this one and I want to share it with my students or other people, you have to just change the permissions on this and give them a link. So the easiest way to do this is select a file and highlight it. In the toolbar, you'll see a Get Shareable Link icon. If you click that, mine is already set the correct way, but if yours is not, you want to do Link Sharing On. I'm going to go to Sharing Settings, and I'm going to change this so where it says Link Sharing On, anyone with a link can view. If yours doesn't say that, just click this little drop down. And if it's not listed there, go to the word More, and in More, change link sharing to anyone with the link can view and that means anybody they don't need a google account they need no account at all so once i have that selected i just click save 
and I copy this little link. It's now in my clipboard. Click done. And now I can share that link with anybody. For example, if I just paste that link up here, you'll see really quickly that this video file is now able to be shared with anybody. Very ominous, I know. So those are your steps. If you have any questions about how to go through this process, um, I again urge you just to watch the whole video, then try the steps. And if you get stuck someplace, um, go back in that video and see that. But as always, if you have any questions, Kent ISD and the EdTech team is always here to help. So just drop us a line and we'd be happy to assist you. Have a great week.